We are hearing from two men who say they witnessed the murder of 11 year old Josue Flores. They testified during day three of Andre Jackson's trial and prosecutors also brought a key piece of evidence into the courtroom to show jurors. Jackson is accused of stabbing the 11 year old more than a dozen times as he was walking home from school in 2016. Adam Bennett has been following this case from the beginning and Adam, the court also heard the 911 call made by one of those witnesses. They did rake it, and at that point, Josue Flores' father had already left the courtroom. But before that, he had been listening to the witness's testimony, sometimes hunched forward, sometimes sitting up with his arms folded. Meanwhile, Andre Jackson, he was sitting with his hands folded, slowly swiveling in his chair. One Flores senior walked back into court this afternoon as the two men who saw the final moments of his son Josue's life took the stand. Robert Figueroa told jurors he and his friend Josh Hubbard were on the front porch of a friend's home on Fulton at James Street the afternoon of May 17, 2016. Hubbard says shortly after a man walked by the house, he heard a muffled yell. He says he and Figueroa saw the same man from moments before, his back turned, and a boy. Hubbard told the court, quote, just threw him. He was just roughing him up. It was just a punching motion, then demonstrated that man's action on one of the prosecutors. Figueroa later added, quote, it looked like someone was in a headlock being uppercutted, then demonstrated that action on the prosecutor. Figueroa says when he ran into the street, the attacker ran away north on Fulton, and Flores fell on his stomach. Quote, I was like, hey kid, you all right? Recalled Figueroa. I didn't think anything of it. I just thought he had been roughed up. When he saw blood and Flores didn't respond, Figueroa says he told Hubbard to grab his gun, and he called 911. Today, prosecutors also brought a green jacket with distinctive lettering to court that they say matches one shown in surveillance video, worn by a man running near the murder site just minutes after the attack. An HPD homicide detective testified that jacket was hanging on a chair six feet from Andre Jackson inside his room at a men's shelter when Jackson was arrested. But defense lawyers raised questions about the process to get the search warrant for Jackson's room. Uh, the defense is, is very, very, uh, very ag aggressive in trying to poke holes and, and capitalize on the things that officers uh, and witnesses have, have forgotten. So we're hoping that the prosecutor is able to put this thing together based on the evidence. And prosecutors say DNA on that green jacket is really the key piece of evidence that they say links Jackson to this murder. Now, two more witnesses have testified inside that courtroom, according to my colleague Grace White, who's in there right now. She says one of them actually broke down crying on the stand, describing Josue Flores' final moments. We'll bring you all the latest from court today, coming up at 6. Rekha. Yeah, tough testimony to hear. Adam Bennett, thank you.